weird, I suppose. It doesn't feel like that long. But uh, uh, it's just kind of doing it every week, I suppose, so you don't see it's a much more gradual thing. Still a rel- there's still a spine, a sound, you know, it's a foundation of a sound, the original sound, and it's electronic music, soulful, funk, um, and there's just various branches off that, you know, but I think the original sound was kind of sound of black American electronic music, um, Chicago, Detroit, New York. So subculture, because it's always a short night, it's only four hours, you're trying to fit as much of your, your music in as possible, and so your, your mixing has become a way where you, you can change for, for the last two records and then another style and then back again and move it about because you've only got X four hours to fit in so much of your music. So you don't want to go down one road or one route. Uh, all night. One you know, sound. One sound. The days would be a bit boring. It's just boring, so you try and switch it up and you know, play deeper stuff, the techno stuff. So and just try and get as much good tracks in as possible and yeah. then the two hours we've got this whereas there was times I suppose in the past where we would have played a certain groove mm-hmm. you know when kind of Deep House or whatever came in there were certain labels at the time like they're saying like Tribal America or whatever you'd end up playing loads of Strictly Rhythm records in a night you could do a, an hour almost a whole night of Strictly's output was so, so yeah. varied as well but so many uh, new grooves you could play yeah. there was big Gary's tracks there would be Code 6 and a bit house tracks and bells off so and it was a new sound mm-hmm. so it sounded really new whereas like I'm saying that's it's kind of hard to find records now that are a, a new sound or something I suppose it is at the time you're just playing all the new records that you like that yeah. week you know mm-hmm. because over time you start to when you look back you see certain themes of what you like or whatever without necessarily being aware of it and I think probably both of us like a fair broad spectrum of music not just house and even within house a kind of fairly broad spectrum you know so we used to go to record shops and people the guys behind the discount would say oh, you kept these back because you like this and, you, and, and they don't give you stuff that you would like because you're always looking you know people think oh this is what you're going to play this is what you like and it's not it's, we'll hear different things and different tracks you know that will just catch your ear but that music that we like is still will always be for dark smelly smoky basements you know what I mean with good sound systems but I'll never I'll never cross over that I'll never change it's a bit wanky sometimes to talk about that kind of thing. I think it's just what people do, isn't it? Of a weekend, they go out and they drink and whatever and dance to music. Some people choose to do it to a different type of music. But if somebody know? was coming, somebody said, explain some club to me, I'd say there's no words, just come down. Yeah, you'd have to check out. I wouldn't even know how to describe it. Yeah, I think I would be down to the other people. I think I could describe the club rather than our light. It's easier, do you know what I mean? It's just be raw, dark energy. That's pretty much what I would say, but that doesn't listen to me now. Night, I just mean the club in itself, so. Again, it would be unfair to name one particular person because there's been so many good ones, you know. There's been loads of good ones, and kind of. There's been so many. I think. I've always played Derek Carter. Aye, oh, Derek, when Derek first Derek. played, he was, yeah. he was like. It was like some, seeing something you'd never yeah, seen before. Yeah, it's amazing. Do you know what I mean? It was, it was brilliant. Um, live things, Daji was good live, obviously. Um, there's been loads, there's been too many and I would keep it. and Neville, yes. when they put it live, that was pure energy. Yeah. I was brilliant. But there's been so many good DJs. Um, Shade Mia. And so on. No way I'll sing on them, actually. <laughs> um, but nah, but that, that's just in recent memory, really, isn't it? But there's been people over the years who have had a lot more good guests than, than bad. Than bad. I'd, need to, I'd really need to think about that one DJ. Maybe uh, a couple of live acts or something would be good, like somebody that's musically yeah. been on it. Somebody, you know, Mr. Finder's live, I think. Larry Heard live. Crap out Larry Heard. Uh, live, that would do. Dex, Stop. yeah. Dex in the BMA. <laughs> uh, last two weeks ago, I finished and I had such a good night, and I was still buzzing Tuesday, you know, just doing things like that, things like getting the dinner ready for the kids or something. Just mundane and just remembering flashbacks of Saturday night and getting that kind of yeah. that rush. Do you know what I mean? And that's still that's after 18 years, so you can't really, you, can't, you never yeah. lose that. I don't think you'd ever lose that. I think 
I know people say to you never think to stop, no, whatever, you, what, when you're going to give up, you're like, oh, why, why would you do that? Because it's, it's amazing fun. And people still seem to be enjoying it, and as long as people are enjoying it, then we feed off the crowd, so yeah. as soon as they stop enjoying it, then we will, you know, but at the moment, everybody seems to be enjoying it. Um, and I think the mentality we've had for the start is always, you're always as good as the last mix, and that means the last night. I don't know what, if I'm doing music, I don't know what I'd be doing, I'd have a lollipop man on a jammy, giving my liver a rest, and watching The Voice, oh, next to with my what, kids. What would you be doing? I don't know what I'd be doing. I don't know either, no, no idea. Prop me up in the nearest bar, telling people I was brown in football when I was a kid or something, just shout abuse at you. 